Yeah, it was another fantastic weekend at a Hot Wheels convention. This was the Los Angeles Convention 2016, October 5th through the 9th. It was over there at the Airport Marriott uh, near LAX. So, yeah, come back, have the truck loaded up with stuff that I bought from the uh, Room to Room uh, sales and trades. And I figured, why take it home? Just bring it down to the shop. So bring everything down here. I'm going to show you the uh, T-shirts first because this way you can see the t-shirts. Oh, but before I do, it, it's great to meet fellow collectors from all over the world, people we know from the internet, and then we get to meet in person. Uh, it's always a, a great opportunity. And then to put the exclamation point on the end of the weekend, I'm ready to go, and <laughs> I forget something. I have to head back in, I have the truck packed, I go to walk back in, and as I'm walking in, uh, a mother's behind me. By the way, there's a Sunday show. The Sunday show is open to the public. I think it's five bucks a person or something. I'm not sure. Uh, convention attendees, we paid to attend the convention, so the Sunday show is free for us. But if you don't pay to attend the convention, you can just come for the Sunday show. And they have dozens and dozens of people with tables. Um, now, as I'm walking in, I happen to have on uh, a convention shirt from a previous year. And I can hear a mom telling, uh, sounds like she's talking to a child, saying, uh, hey, look, uh, so-and-so, look, he's got a Hot Wheels t-shirt. So they're behind me, so I go to open the door to let them in from the hotel, go and let them in. And so I say, are you, are you guys here for the Hot Wheels show? And, and the mom, she goes, hey, do you make videos on YouTube? I go, and then I look at the kid, and they say, welcome to Track Time by Race Grooves. And then, of course, the mom's all excited, the kid's all excited. Because I'm not on camera that often, right? The kids know me because I do the track time, and the parents know me because they can hear my voice. Now, see, if I would have just walked in, opened the door, and let them in, they wouldn't even have known who I was. But because I said, are you here for the Hot Wheels convention? Uh, parents recognize my voice right away because they say they hear it resonating through the rooms uh, while the kids are watching the videos. So it's always great to get to meet uh, fellow collectors toy car fans, fans of the Race Grooves channel. Convention is a great thing. I encourage you to attend. You know, they have a, a HW, uh, if I think about it, I'll see in a second. They have a Facebook page. I encourage you to follow that page so that you can get news and information when the next one's going to be. And they have a convention. It's like West Coast. And then they have the Nationals. It's what they call the convention for the like west of the east of the Mississippi. So on that note, here's the t-shirt from the convention. It's the uh, 30th, yeah, 30 years of conventions with this organization. It's a long time. I'll open this up in a second. And then here you can see it says Nationals. I did not make the Nationals in Indianapolis. But because it looked like it had, they, they had an awesome shirt. They had leftover shirts. And uh, I picked up a shirt. What's cool about the t-shirts is they, uh, you get a peek at what the cars are for the year. Well, we kind of find out. They post on the Facebook page anyways. But it's nice because they have the cars. They have souvenir cars that you can purchase from the event. Here's the front. Just the logo for the uh, convention. And there's, here's the three cars. And I'm going to be showing you. That's what this video is going to be. I'm going to be showing you these three cars. You had a Camaro. You had the Texas Drive Home. And you had Thunder Roller and, uh, oh, Patriotic Red, White, and Blue. Just exactly what I like to collect. And then for, uh, I usually, this was the first time in years my kids couldn't make it. Both of them working, both of them going to school. They had something, they had to work on Saturday. It's like, they had to work during the week, had to work on Saturday. First time my kids haven't made it since, I think, 1998. It's a long time. But I... They're not, uh, those three cars, I usually buy them the t-shirt, let them pick a souvenir car, and I pay for it. This year, uh, souvenir cars, none of them were exactly models that they collect, so I didn't, I didn't pick up any for them. And for the t-shirt, because it's the models they don't collect, the t-shirt's not models they collect, so I didn't get them the t-shirt, but I did get them the Nationals t-shirt. This is the one that they did for the uh, 2016 Nationals. So usually about April, May. By the way, next year it's going to be in Pittsburgh, okay? And once again, uh, I'll give you the name of their... If you search Hot Wheels Convention on Facebook, you can find their page. 
but I think they're called Collector Events Unlimited. That's uh, Mark and Jennifer. But here's the cars that they had from that convention. And trust me, both my kids, they like the VW bus, especially with the nice uh, logo on there. So that's the three cars that they had for the Nationals earlier this year in 2016. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual models, the souvenir cars from the 2016 Hot Wheels convention. When you attend the event, you get an event pass or a badge. You got to wear this badge so this way they know you're a paid attendee. And this allows you to get into different, uh, different events that are at the show. Here's the cars that you can purchase. As you can see, you're only allowed two of each this year. Sometimes they have items where you can only buy one. Sometimes where you can buy uh, three. But this time we were allowed to buy two of each. I'll show you those in a moment. And you can tell this is a mystery car. That's because with your paid attendance, you do get a free car and you get you get some other goodies and that's what we're going to look at too now this was a, a charity car that they used for a fundraiser it was limited to uh, 500 i did not uh, purchase that school busted now as far as the other things these are just the the little things that you get with your purchase they give you get a little uh a drink cooler i think these are koozie i think it's called this year we got a mouse pad with the logo Here's a folder, and this will have the schedule of events inside. That was not included. That's something else I'm going to show coming up. Uh, I, this, oh, I purchased this. This is uh, available separately. I like to collect the uh, pins, so I picked up a pin. Now we'll talk about the cars. Now there's a four different official cars for the convention. Number one is the 67 Camaro. By the way, this one's uh, just carted. I took it out of the blister so that I could uh, get a better view of the cars for you. Here's the 67 Camaro. There's a convention logo. Now these are very limited. Looks like it still has an opening hood. Metal base. Very nice. Oh, chromed metal base. Very nice. Like the wheels, like the color. Looks fantastic. And it is limited to 2,600 pieces. That's it, 2,600 pieces. And I got number 226. I got extras. Like I said, we're able to buy a couple of each if we'd like. And my wife attended, so I got a couple, I got a couple, couple extra, if you know what I mean. Here's number 204, the Thunder Roller in patriotic red, white, and blue. Uh, of course, I like this one here. Nice wheels. I didn't check them. 2600 it might be all limited to 2600 we're going to find out at the same time i ha didn't happen to check so there's the thunder roller now the camaro was definitely the most popular one people were looking for thunder roller was uh, number th the third most popular uh texas drive them this is the people wanted the camaro then they wanted the texas drive them this is a popular casting for collectors and with them being limited that makes it even even more special. Here's, uh, here's a high number, 2567 out of 2600. Now some people make a big deal out of low numbers, but uh, me, it's not a big deal. If I get a low number five, fine. Let me see the wheels. Sometimes they sp say special things on the wheels. Rolling with HW is templed on this side. Rolling or printed with, running with HW. And then on the other side, 30 years, yeah, this is the 30th Hot Wheels convention. And they've done nationals, and the nationals are numbered separately. This one did not have printed wheels. Let's check the Camaro. Well, I'm not going to be able to read that. I'm gonna have, I'll am gonna. i see it when I go to edit it. It says Goodyear on the bottom. And the top edge, I think it says Eagle. I won't be able to read that until I put put it through editing and get to see it on the big screen. So these are $25 each for us to purchase. Nice limited souvenirs from the event. And this is the free one you get with your paid attendance. That's that bottom corner right there. Mystery. Well, here's no mystery anymore. Here's the 69 Ford Mustang. Opening hood. And I've seen one open it up. The engine got nice detail in the engine. Metal base. Metal body. Very nice. This one's limited to 1,400 pieces. And you have to be a paid attendee. You get this for free. And that's it. They never sell these separately. So uh, you have to be a paid attendee. Well, I thought it was something else I was going to check. Can't remember off the top of my head. So 
let's see what else. Oh, the dinner event. Got to talk about the dinner event. That's what this poster was right here. There's a Thursday night dinner honoring Ryu, Ryu, sorry, Ryu Asada. Got this nice little uh, printed sheet. And here was his car. This is his actual car. If I remember, I'll put the picture of his car in this video. Yeah, he was honored at the event. He was, the, the dinner event was in honor of him. A Honda S2000. He actually owns this car, so it's pretty cool to get it highly decorated. This one is limited to 1,500 pieces. I think that dinner costs us like $125 to attend, and we get this for free. The people who attended, we got this sticker. No, the people who attend, we get the stickered version for free. And then if they have leftovers, because there's like, uh, I'm trying to think how many people, 400? There's hundreds of people who attend this event, right? So there's, they have, if they made 1,500, they got extra. So what they do, this one's for free. And then the non-stickered versions, see no sticker on there. Uh, these they sold separately for $35 each. So of course, a uh, nice model like that, you want to get some extras. There's the Honda S2000. Oh, you know what, that had a t-shirt too. And you know what, that, that had a pin as well. Pardon all these bags, I'll be doing separate videos on the stuff that I picked up from the convention as time permits. Here's the pin. Oh, I like this. Just like, um, it was just like that poster. An evening with Ryu Asada. And there's the date on the bottom. Nice to have this. And it looks like the uh, the t-shirt's the same, same decoration. Since it looks like it's the same, I'll just keep it in the bag. Anyways, another great year at a convention. Hopefully you guys can make it someday in the future. Thank you for watching and happy collecting. Bye-bye.